In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect, fluffy, crispy homemade waffles in your own kitchen. I have perfected this recipe throughout several weekends as I make waffles every Sunday. Making the batter should not take more than 5 minutes as it's really easy and uses very simple ingredients. Before we begin making this recipe, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button as it's free for you, doesn't cost you anything, but it really adds value to my channel. Under the YouTube analytics section, I do see that less than 2% people subscribe to my channel, so do consider subscribing. By the way, full recipe is listed in the description below. It's in both imperial and metric units, so do check that out. But for making waffles, you need 4 teaspoons or 16 grams of sugar, 2 tablespoons or 28 grams of butter, you could use unsalted, 2 teaspoons or 8 grams of baking powder, 1 cup or 120 grams of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon or 10 grams of chocolate chips, 1 8 teaspoon or less than 1 gram of baking soda, 1 large egg, 1 4 teaspoon or 2 grams of salt, and 1 cup or 250 milliliters of water at room temperature. Next, in a bowl, we're going to mix everything. I'm going to start by first separating an egg. I'm going to put in egg whites first so that I can whisk them and create a nice little froth. We're doing this step so that it allows our waffles to become crunchy. This is because egg whites also help dry or crisp foods a lot easier. You can go ahead and put your egg yolk to the side and add that back later. Next, you're going to whisk your eggs until they become very frothy and white. You're going to gradually add some sugar and continue to whisk them until you can form some peaks at the end. Peaks will form depending on how fresh your egg is, but if you can't form peaks, that's fine too. Next, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons or 28 grams of unsalted butter. Then I'm going to add 1 4 teaspoon or 2 grams of salt. Then I'm going to add 1 8 teaspoon of baking soda. If you're doing this in grams, it's less than 1 gram because there's really no weight to it. Next, I added 2 teaspoons or 8 grams of baking powder as this is really essential so that our waffle rises. Then I added 1 cup or 120 grams of all-purpose flour. You can add it in gradually or add it all together. Then you want to add 1 cup or 250 milliliters of water. The water should be at room temperature, shouldn't be hot or cold. Next, once everything is mixed up properly, you should have a smooth consistency. You're going to go ahead and add in your egg yolk. The egg yolk will give our batter some moisture. Mix it all up until it's all combined properly. Also, I think the egg yolk gives your waffles the yellow color. But if you really want a yellow waffle, you can add some turmeric to it and that would really turn the color. Here's a close-up of what it should look like. It should be nice and smooth. And here's the consistency that it should have. It should be kind of like an applesauce type of consistency. Otherwise, if your batter is too runny, it's going to fall off from the waffle maker, or if it's too thick, it's not going to cook properly. We're going to go ahead and move it to the next step. For this, you need a waffle maker. For baking the waffles, you would definitely need a waffle maker. Make sure the light is ready on the thing, and when you open up the lid, it should create steam, kind of like mine. Next, I used a Pam cooking spray to grease up my waffle maker. If you don't have cooking spray, then just use paper towel and oil to grease up your waffle maker. Next, you want to pour in your waffle mix into the machine. Just make sure that you don't overfill it or underfill it, otherwise the waffle shape won't be that great. If you overfill it, it's going to fall off. And if you underfill it, it's not going to be proper and it's going to be a broken waffle. I just make sure that I put everything in properly, close the lid and turn it around. And wait until the light turns blue on your waffle machine or whatever color your waffle machine is. Typically it takes around 4-5 to five minutes for the waffles to cook properly. Another indication is that steam. Once the steam stops, that means your waffle is almost ready. After 5 minutes, here's what my waffle looked like. Nice, crispy, and golden. Yellow in color. Here's a close-up of what it looks like up close. Next, I decided to make some chocolate chip waffles. And simply put, all I did was add some chocolate chips to the existing batter. This is my wife's personal favorite. We always debate on how much chocolate chip should be added to the waffle mix. I like to put in one tablespoon, but she likes to put in more than one. I guess it's really personal preference. It's up to you how much chocolate chip you want to add to your waffle mix. So feel free to tweak it as you like. Next, just pour in your batter into the waffle maker and do the same thing that you did last time. Close the lid, flip it over, and make sure it works properly. And after 4-5 to five minutes, here's what the chocolate chip version looks like. It's light and airy in texture and slightly crispy from outside and it's got that nice mini chocolate chips that are really sweet and nice. 
For making the waffles look pretty, I decided to take some powdered sugar and just sprinkle it on top. I used a sifter so that it sifts properly and distributes evenly across the waffle. Here's what it looks like up close. And for the chocolate chip one, I just decided to slice up some bananas and pour some maple syrup on the side. Here's both the plain and the chocolate chip version side by side. Is it tempting enough? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed seeing how I make my waffles. Here are some tips slash bloopers. In this case, I overfilled the waffle machine with a lot of batter and when I flipped it, here's what happened. It created a really bad mess and the waffle turned out pretty bad. Everything was overflowing everywhere. So highly recommend that you do not overfill the machine with a lot of batter. In another case, I added too much water to the batter and here's what happened. The waffle did not hold its shape. It was breaking apart or falling apart quite easily. So just make sure that you follow the right consistency and you don't overfill the machine and you'll do great every time. In the end, I'm really happy with how this recipe came out. I really enjoy eating waffles for breakfast every Sunday morning. And now I hope you try this as well and make waffles for your Sunday breakfast. Do remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, here's a B-roll of everything.